Okay, guys. Previous videos may have sounded like I was putting people down and putting schools down. Not really. You can learn any kind of martial art and you can make it work. You just have to be the one to make it work. So, even if the instructor is saying, oh, it's okay, just relax and just put the punch because when it actually happens, you'll do it harder. No, you won't. You'll do it the way you practice. That's the truth. So practice it the way you'll use it. Get that one in your head. Practice it the way you'll use it. All right, now, I wanted to get into other little areas. In traditional martial arts, which we do, but we do tra traditional martial arts in a modern way, which means I'm gonna put this guy down on the ground with one punch, one kick. We do use the traditional techniques like two finger poke. Come on, you take two fingers and, boom, and you poke somebody in the eyes, they're gonna be going ah, and, and freaking out about the fact that they can't see very good. And right then, wham, kick them pretty easy. So we use that kind of stuff. We use a poke to the throat. You take your fingers and oh, right there in the throat and they're <laughs> gagging and they can't breathe. Well, fight's pretty much over. So don't think those kind of techniques are so old fashioned and you're supposed to grab somebody and try to wrestle them to the ground and get them in an arm bar and you know, do all that kind of stuff that they're teaching. Wrestling is fine if you end up on the ground, if. Don't go to the ground, because then if you have that person tied up, you're tied up too. And his buddies can come right over and stomp your head in. So keep in mind, traditional martial arts isn't a bad thing. And if you train hard at it, you learn how to chop. I can do outward chop through four of our one and a half inch thick concrete blocks held up here like this, I can do a chop right through those four concrete blocks. I can do inward chop through four. I've done it. So if I can do that to concrete, what can I do to the side of somebody's head right here at the temple? What can I do to the side of their neck? What can I do to their throat? Taking that chop and just putting it right in there. Look for the kind of school that teaches you good, good technique, teaches you power, teaches you that even, you know, open hand techniques have their place in self-defense, because they do. I use just about everything I've ever seen that I thought was effective in my style. I have developed my own style here. This is called Kodinkan Combined Martial Art. Combined. So we do judo throws, bam, we do jiu-jitsu locks, takedowns and controls. We do um, karate style techniques with block, strike, kick. We do taekwondo kind of movements where you're coming up and you're doing other kinds of kicks. So I've studied a lot of martial arts in my life. I've taken what I learned that I like, that I know works because I've used it, hello, put it into this style, and it's very complete. There's a lot of techniques, a lot of ways to block depending on your position. If I'm standing here and punches come from the side, whoa, I'll bring up a block similar to this. It's called a high scooping outward block. Instead of trying to readjust myself to do a different block, I've got blocks to cover every occasion. The idea that I'm trying to get across is traditional martial arts taught in a way that will approach the modern combat scenario. You guys follow that one? Then that's a good school. And that's what you need to look for. So, we're filming right here at the Hand to Hand Combat Training Center, Hayden, Idaho. And yes, we wear military style uniforms to train in because we don't walk around in our pajamas out there to get mugged. We walk around in a shirt, and pants, and a belt. So we train the way we're gonna be when somebody comes after us. 
And these are good uniforms to train in because they're made for training. They're martial art uniforms. What does martial mean? Military. Military. Martial law is military law. Martial. Okay, so it fits. It works. So come on up and check us out. All right. Out.